Hey everyone, welcome back for another reason tutorial. And today we're going to be creating the synth from Mike Candy's Sunshine or Fly So High or Smile. Don't think they've quite made their mind up on what to call it. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, inside a combinator you want to create a Maelstrom Grayable Synthesizer. And you want to right click and initialize the patch. Now, for the first oscillator A, you want to change the um, setting from sine to saxophone. There it is. And you want to leave the octave where it is and the semi, but you want to bring the scent down to about minus 14 you want to bring the release up a tiny bit to around 14 and you want to leave it, leave it as is now we're also going to use the second oscillator so you just want to little tick this button here it's, this turns the oscillator on and for this oscillator we're going to be using a sweeping square there it is now we're going to bring the octave down on this one to 3 and we're also going to bring the volume of the synth down to 63. Leave the filter B as it is and the shaper but for the filter A you want to bring the frequency up a tiny bit to 74 and that's it for the synth. So you want to right click on it and create an equalizer. You want to enable the low shelf, no, the low cut, the low shelf, param 1, param 2 and the high shelf. For the, the low shelf frequency, bring it to 214.7 Hz. Bring the gain down to minus 6.3 decibels. And leave the Q where it is. For parametric 1, bring the frequency down to 494.8 Hz, bring the gain up to 2.9 decibels, and bring the Q down to 2. <laughs> For parametric 2's frequency, bring it up to 3.465 no, Hz, the gain to 3.4 decibels, add the Q to 1.9. For the high shelf frequency, bring it up a tiny bit to 6.404 kHz, gain to 2.9 decibels, and the Q to 0.69. What this does, it gives us a bit more high ends and mids, but um, cuts off the lows. So we're then going to create a RV7 digital reverb. We're going to leave it at the hall setting and leave the size where it is and the decay. But we're going to bring the damp down to 28 and the dry wet down to 22. And that's it for the reverb. And then you want to create an M class compressor. Bring up the input gain to 2.3 decibels, threshold to nine, minus 9.9 .9 decibels. You also want to enable this softening thing, the ratio to 16.81, attack 32 milliseconds, the release 379 milliseconds, and the output gain at 2.3 decibels and for our last effect is going to be a maximizer input gain to 3.4 decibels um, you want to enable this 4 millisecond look ahead bring the release to auto output gain to 3.8 decibels and that's it for the sim so let's see how it sounds
yep, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.